Shalom from the holy city of Jerusalem. I'm getting ready to head uh, south and north this morning. I will be up on the Gaza border and then I'll be up on the Lebanese border. Uh, I'm going to minister to the Holocaust survivors. We're bringing supplies for them because they're living in bomb shelters and they have no way out um, because they're pre-existing conditions. Um, and then I'll be uh, going also to the kibbutz that was attacked and over a hundred people killed. Um, I was with the victims last night. Uh, and then I'll be going up towards the Lebanese border, bringing uh, many things for the troops, including um, uh, air mattresses. Why air mattresses? Because they're sleeping on the ground. Uh, there's a lot of things they just simply don't have that we're, we're trying to be helpful to them on. So keep us in prayer. These will be dangerous trips. My last trip in, I had to dive in the ditch four times because terrorists um, were firing missiles, over 50 missiles. And then three, three terrorists opened fire close to me. So um, keep us in your prayers regarding that. I want to talk about the kibbutz for a moment because I was with the people who have their children in Gaza right now, comforting them, ministering to them um, last night. And uh, it was heartbreaking. I wept with them. It's just heartbreaking what they told me, what happened at that time when the terrorists attacked inside their house, houses. I want to tell you about this kibbutz. This kibbutz was basically most of large percentage of them were leftist and they were very sympathetic to the people of Gaza. They were bringing them in every single day, letting them work on the kibbutz, making them like family, uh, did everything they could possibly do to help them. They were going to the borders uh, weekly and bringing uh, children that were sick across to the Israeli hospitals uh, to care for them. Um, just everything humanly possible they could do for these people they did uh, for them uh, but that didn't work out so well it didn't work out so well at all because they found out that those individuals that were coming into their kibbutz every day was mapping out the kibbutz for the terrorist and developed uh, everything sent everything to the terrorist that basically cost them their lives. So uh, really, really heartbreaking. And they even told me that one of the uh, young kids, teenagers that they brought uh, into the hospital, uh, he had cancer, a very severe cancer, and he was treated for two years, he would have died, and they saved his life, that he was one of the terrorists that came back and uh, to kill them, um, yes, to kill them. It's beyond anything the West can comprehend what they're going through. I saw it in the eyes yesterday of so many of these survivors. This is a battle between darkness and light. Uh, this is my second trip in here in 10 days. And our ministry has been working with the state of Israel for decades, many decades. So this is my life. This is my call. Um, and so keep us in your prayers. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. It's going to get a lot worse. It's going to get a lot worse, um, the situation, because Iran is behind this. That demon octopus of Iran is behind all of this, uh, fueling everything. And uh, Israel needs our prayers. They need our support. They're fighting, they're vulnerable. They've never, they've never been like this before. This is the first time I've ever seen the state of Israel this vulnerable uh, because they've never had this kind of an atrocity since the Holocaust. Yesterday, there were 17 funerals the day before, 15 every single day. Every single day, Israelis are being buried. Uh, their children, their children are being buried. So keep, keep them in prayer today keep the prime minister in prayer today and the war cabinet. Um, it's very, very dangerous. It's very, very serious. And you might ask the question, will it be on, going on for a while? Yes, it'll be going on for a while. This is uh, when the U.S. fought uh, 
ISIS in Mosul, it took five months. This is going to take much longer than five months to defeat Hamas. And it could be Hezbollah. And it could actually be Iran directly that Israel will have to confront. It's the greatest battle that Israel's ever fought. We're doing everything we can at Friends of Zion. Um, today, when I get back from the south and the north, we'll have 150 children, traumatized children, uh, providing happiness and joy for them because they're suffering at Friends of Zion. So we're going 16, 18 hours here, just doing everything. This is my second trip here in the last uh, nine days. Uh, and I'll continue to come. So keep us in prayer. Uh, keep them in prayer. God bless you uh, from Jerusalem.